Hello guys. Welcome to my channel Movies Described. Today I'm going to explain a drama movie, which is based on the life of a great Dutch painter Johannes Vermee and his world-famous painting. Name of the movie is Girl with a Pearl Earring, which was released in 2003. So, relax and enjoy. The story begins in 1665 at Deleft, Holland, where we see a shy girl named Griot. Her father, a Delftware painter, has recently gone blind, rendering him unable to work and leaving his family in a precarious financial situation. So Griot is sent to Delft to work as a maid in the household of famed painter Johannes Vermee and his wife, Katharina, and her daughter Cornelia. Before she left her home, her father gave her one of his painting. On arrival, one of the maid give a brief description about the regular routine. She also said that, Vermee's wife Katharina is out of town, when she arrive, she will give further instruction. Next morning, she met with Katharina. After Griot wishing her, Katharina instruct her not to speak with others unless someone talk to her first. Then Katharina took her to Vermee's studio, for cleaning. There Griot met Cornelia for the first time. When Griot enters the room, she become completely stunned by the beautiful paintings. There was one painting, which specifically attracts her attention. When she came closer to that painting, Vermee's mother-in-law suddenly arrived. She told her that, it took almost three months to draw it, and still it is not complete. After saying that, she tells her to finish the cleaning quickly, and leave the studio. Griot works diligently and almost wordlessly in the lowest position of a harsh hierarchy. She does her best to adjust, in spite of the unkind treatment from Vermee's spoiled adolescent daughter, Cornelia. While Griot is on a routine shopping run, a butcher's son, Peter, is drawn to her. She is slow to return his affections as their relationship develops. As Griot cleans Vermee's studio, which Katharina never enters, the painter begins to converse with her and encourages her appreciation of painting, light, and color. He gives her lessons in mixing paints and other tasks while keeping these secret from Katharina, to avoid angering her. In contrast, Vermee's pragmatic mother-in-law, Maria Thins, sees Griot as useful to Vermee's career. Vermee's rich patron, Van Ruijen, visits the household and notices Griot. He asks if Vermee will give up Griot so she can work in the patron's house, where Van Ruijen ruined the former girl maid. Vermee refuses, but agrees to paint a portrait of Griot for Van Ruijen. As he secretly works on the painting, Katharina notices something is amiss. Her growing disdain for the maid becomes apparent, spurred on by Van Ruijen's deliberate suggestions of an improper relationship between Vermee and Griot. A conflicted Griot deals with her growing fascination with Vermee and his talent while fending off Van Ruijen, who attempts to rape her in the courtyard. Later, when Katharina is out for the day, her mother hands Griot her daughter's pearl earrings and asks Vermee to finish the painting. At the final painting session, Vermee pierces Griot's left earlobe so she can wear one of the earrings for the portrait. Tensions heighten when she reacts in pain and Vermee caresses her face. She runs to Peter for consolation and distraction from her thoughts of Vermee. The two make love in a barn. Peter proposes marriage, but Griot unexpectedly leaves. She returns the earrings to Katharina's mother. Katharina flies into a rage upon discovering Griot wore her earrings and storms into the studio, accusing her mother of complicity. She demands Vermee show her the commissioned portrait. Offended by the intimate nature of the painting, Katharina dismisses it as obscene and tearfully asks why Vermee wouldn't paint her. When Vermee responds that she doesn't understand, she tries but fails to destroy the painting. She banishes Griot from the house. Vermee does not object. Griot returns to her parents' home and stands once again at crossroads. Later, she receives a visit at her parents' home from Vermee's cook, Tanik, who brings a gift, the blue headscarf Griot wore in the painting wrapped around Katharina's pearl earrings. In the final scene, Van Ruijen sits looking smugly at the real-life painting, Girl with a Pearl Earring. 